Millions of high school students marking a major milestone this month, their graduation day. But dozens of former Sandy Hook Elementary students are about to go through that rite of passage with 20 empty seats. The joy of the occasion lessened by the students who should be graduating right along with them. Today in Connecticut, Newtown High School is holding its commencement ceremony with plans to honor the lives of 20 first graders and six teachers who lost their lives when a gunman entered that school nearly 12 years ago, going on a shooting rampage. The graduation marks a major turning point for so many surviving students now set to leave the small town that was torn, by, torn apart by unthinkable tragedy. But for others, Newtown will always be home, including Jennifer Hubbard. Her daughter, Catherine, is one of the 20 students who should be graduating today and going on to pursue her passions and love of animals. Instead, her memory lives on in the Catherine Violet Hubbard Animal Sanctuary, founded and run by her mother. Jennifer Hubbard joins me now. Uh, Jennifer, it was just kind of hard getting through that intro, just thinking back to that day. I think that uh, none of us will ever forget. Um, and I know that today uh, marks what should be Catherine's graduation, just days after you marked her 18th birthday. Um, how are you doing? I'm okay. Thanks for asking. So Catherine's love of animals, it is evident through the sanctuary that you founded in her honor. I remember doing stories of when you first created this. What do you think uh, her plans would have been after high school? You know, it's hard to say whether she would have been off to a Diana. safari um, or, or to be the animal advocate um, taking on the world or perhaps off to vet school, um, not really sure. I do know that that whatever her um, direction would be, it would have involved caring for animals. And I, I think that because animals were at her heart um, and her passion and her commitment to them was to make sure that they were safe and that they knew that she was kind. Have you stayed in touch with any of her classmates as they moved from Sandy Hook to, to Newtown High School? You know, a few of the students, we offer um, a lot of programs through the sanctuary and invite the community to join us as volunteers. And so, um, you know, I kind of date myself with these guys because I see them, I don't recognize them because they've, they've grown up. In my mind, they're still these, they're six in my head. And then I see them and I realize that they have just grown into such extraordinary individuals. Um, and so to see them um, supporting the sanctuary uh, of one of their classmates, it's always a humbling experience for me. I can imagine. And, you know, you, you talk about Catherine and what her story offers, that it's living proof of the unlimited possibility and potential that a dream can carry. Tell us about the Catherine Violet Hubbard Animal Sanctuary and just what you're hoping to continue to accomplish. Mm -hmm. So the sanctuary started in just a sweet and innocent way of honoring her life and her commitment to animals. She had made little business cards um, when she was five and she wanted to um, create an animal shelter. And so um, since writing her obituary and asking um, the community to support her, support her memory by making donations to a local animal shelter, um, we have created a place that this past weekend was um, recognized by the state as fostering human empathy and building more compassionate communities, which to me is um, just a remarkable reminder that um, we can become kinder and gentler. Uh, we do it through caring for animals. Um, and as we continue to work in, in making sure that all animals in Catherine's memory live free from harm in homes and habitats, I can rest assured that the longer term results and impact of that is we're creating kinder people. And for me, at the end of the day, perhaps one of those people that is changed because of understanding or um, providing direct care to some type of creature is transformed. And maybe the trajectory of their life is changed in just a slight, slightest manner that um, we avert a school shooting 
or we're able to have conversations rooted in understanding that help solve some of the problems that our country faces. It's amazing what the love um, for an animal, the love from an animal, animal can do, and to to create kindness and uh, and it's a beautiful thing that you can adopt animals through your program as well. You know, one more question, Jennifer, if you don't mind. I, I mean that. That tragic shooting has spurred activism from so many of the surviving students and parents, you know, speaking at rallies and even meeting with Vice President Harris recently. Uh, so as a parent, you know, who, who lost a child in a school shooting, what do you make of the fact that we are still seeing gun violence, that we are still seeing mass school shootings, you know, 12 years later? Mm -hmm. I think that it's a clear sign that we're approaching the issue in the wrong way. Um, I, I think that when you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, um, you're going to get the same results. And you know, I've I've often thought that as we and been scared about the fact that as we hear about and and experience in communities these tragic school shootings, we're our, our children are being killed in their classrooms. Um, we're becoming numb to it. And I think that sometimes we have to kind of push the pause button and think about how we're approaching a really complex issue um, that's going to require a lot of different thought and a lot of different approaches. I love the fact that the sanctuary is teaching people how to be more understanding, more compassionate. Maybe they can learn how to have fruitful conversations. I love the fact that the next generation, the kids that are graduating today have a passion for approaching this really horrific, um, it, you know, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a horrific experience in our country to be able to say that we're okay with, with, with kids being shot, um, often by other kids. Um, and so I, I think that it's a devastation, but I also think that there's hope um, that, you know, all is not lost. And perhaps the few sparks that we're seeing come out of um, Newtown High School will reignite a passion for, for and a commitment to solving this horrific problem we're facing. Yeah, I think every single one of those graduates will somehow be involved yeah. in that in that effort. Jennifer Hubbard, so great to see you. Really appreciate you. And um, as we take it to break, we lift up your daughter, Catherine, her classmates, and her teachers. Thank you so much.